the emails. Yes. I want to ask you about just one aspect of them, and that's what you told the American people. I did not email any um, classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified materials. I am confident that I never sent nor received any information that was classified at the time. I had uh, not sent uh, classified material nor received anything uh, marked classified. After a long investigation, FBI Director James Comey said none of those things that you told the American public were true. Chris, that's not what I heard Director Comey say, and I thank you for giving me the opportunity to, uh, in my view, clarify. Director Comey said that my answers were truthful and what I've said is consistent with what I have told the American people. That there were decisions discussed and made to classify retroactively certain of the emails. I was communicating with over 300 people in my emailing. They certainly did not believe and had no reason to believe that what they were sending was classified. Now, in retrospect, different agencies come in and say, well, it should have been. But that's not what was happening in real time. But in a congressional hearing on July 7th, Director Comey directly contradicted what you had told the public. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. Secretary Clinton said I did not email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? No, there was classified material emailed. He directly contradicted what well, you said. Let me just, just yeah. he not only directly contradicted what you said, he also said in that hearing that you were extremely careless and negligent. Well, Chris, I looked at the whole transcript of everything that was said, and what I believe is, number one, I made a mistake not using two different email addresses. I have said that, and I repeat it again today. It is certainly not anything that I ever would do again. I take classification seriously. I relied on and had every reason to rely on the judgments of the professionals with whom I worked. And so in retrospect, maybe some people are saying, well, those, among those 300 people, they made the wrong call. At the time, there was no reason, in my view, to doubt the professionalism and the determination by the people who work every single day on behalf of our country.